think I finally got all my settings working the way I was happy with for the most part. But I've been having a bit of a problem. Um, it's been a few months now since I uploaded a video where I talked about the fact that I wanted to do more. I wanted to do something more exciting, right? And I kind of struggle with that, honestly. Um, I never thought that it would be this much of a pain in the ass to get it to work. I keep thinking, oh, I need to create a script or I need to plan it out. I need to have some talking points. I need to, but in reality, it's just, it doesn't matter what I do. I've come to the conclusion that this is just hard to do because I've never done it before. And by that, I mean making YouTube videos, by the way. It's, it's been something that I've been kind of been really interested in doing for a long time, but I just don't know where to go. It's like the problem where you, an artist that has a, an infinite canvas will paint nothing in the end because there's just so many choices. You become paralyzed. And I think that's where I am. I am paralyzed. I don't know what to do. All I know is that I want to. And I figured I should start by just talking about that, figuring out where to go from here. Maybe by you watching, maybe you can give me some advice, which of course will be very much welcome. I have been not dissatisfied with my life, I won't say. I'm, it's been more of a, I want more, just a little more. Like my life is good, but I want just a little more of something. I've been trying to find a, maybe a creative outlet to, to maybe satiate that feeling. But I've never really tried stream, like doing, not streaming. I've never really tried making videos uh, the same way that I treat my streams. Usually when I'm on stream, I tell you, I, I tell my stream about my day, how I'm feeling, and that's usually how I was able to grow my, my, my audience. And for some reason, I never thought that was going to work on YouTube. I felt like I had to create a very specific type of content that would maximize views. But then again, what do you want at the end? Do you want to maximize views or do you want to make something that you like? And at the end, I ended up just deciding this, you know? So I'm making this video as a way to finally break that ice for myself, making it a little bit easier to uh, to start making more daily uploads. Not try to focus on maximizing, oh, we gotta make sure we reach 10 minutes or make sure it's over edited and overly interesting. And It can be, but I think those skills I will learn the more I do it, not off the get-go. It has been a... Uh, uh, a little bit frustrating knowing what I want that I want to do this, just not being able to actually go through with it. So here I am making a, an effort to change it and maybe develop an, a fun habit. Maybe it becomes a positive reinforcement. Maybe the more I do it, the more people show up, the more people that give me encouragement, the more people that give me advice and maybe the more I do it, I don't know. been on the internet for quite a while. I've been doing a lot of things here and there, trying to find my footing on the things that I want to do. And for those who know, I used to do a lot of like looter content. I've, I've, I've done like a lot of things in the past. Um, I like the idea of having such a quick response when it comes to being loot content. In a weird sense, it gave me a sense of community mainly because I I would post something and I would have people messaging me and talking to me, but obviously with ulterior motives, right? And it was naive of me to see it that way, but I guess I have been craving that sense of community again, being able to just have friends, have people that think alike, um, I've been going through a bit of a rough patch when it comes to that. I've been pretty isolated over the past few months. I, I've lost a, a lot of good friends. Um, maybe through my own fault, maybe not. 
I, I'm not entirely sure yet. But I certainly feel guilty that I lost them. And then very soon after that, I lost more. And I'm not going to say I ended up alone. But I ended a lot lonelier than I used to be just a few months ago. Even if I didn't entirely reach out to them all the time, even if I didn't talk to my friends every day, all day, just knowing that we're there whenever I needed them was enough of a comfort. And I don't have that comfort anymore. And I, I guess I went into this streaming with... I, I, I'm back on streaming. I am doing slightly loot content. Mainly because it's the only thing I know what to do. It's the only thing I feel like I'm capable of of doing to attract more people to me which I don't entirely believe it's true but my brain certainly believes it is and I certainly tr go forward thinking that that is the only way and I don't know if I'm looking for a quick response uh, like just immediately having people show up immediately and start like being part of my community but you know good things take time it's not something that you can just and it's done right like it it takes time to get to a good place even building my stream the way i did to get the community that i have now it took me years and i'm thankful for the people that i have in my life but for some reason i want a community i want more i guess for some reason i just want more i just I can't satiate that feeling and I want to know what it is. Maybe by be having a bit of a more creative outlet, me by being here on, on YouTube, I can maybe find that more I'm feeling. Or maybe it's a bottomless pit that I will never fulfill. <laughs> but only one way to find out, right? And and the only way to find out is, well, by doing it. But what do I want out of this channel? I'm not entirely sure. I figure that I'm going to try to do the tried and true method of, well, maybe becoming my personal diary, a personal and public, I suppose, personal diary, just a place to keep things a little more, uh, uh, I guess, recorded, because usually whenever I, I, I've talked about all this stuff, I usually uh, on my stream, but I don't really, you know post my streams and they're usually not tailored to be uploaded as a YouTube channel. Though if you are interested in watching the VODs, I do have a channel called Red Salix VODs um, where you can watch all my VODs. I, I am trying to be more consistent in uploading all my VODs as a way to keep a, a, a catalog, a, 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 an archive of all the things, mainly because I used to have a hard drive. I have a hard drive. The hard drive uh, broke. And all of my footage from three years is stuck in there now, which really sucks. So um, maybe by having them on YouTube, it will be a lot easier to keep them safe without having to uh, worry about my hard drive becoming corrupted. Um, but I, I guess I'm not entirely sure where, where I'm going with this. Honestly, there's no agenda that I'm trying to push here. There's no, there's no point. I, I kind of just feel like talking to you and just, I don't know, taking the first step towards developing a new creative outlet. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope, I hope that I can bring something to the table that you already don't have. Lately, I've been trying to find a lot of distractions for myself, trying to find a way to avoid doing this for some reason. And well, the reason being I have ADHD, my brain just doesn't really like doing things. <laughs> it's a bit of a bizarre thing because in the back of my head, I know I have to do it. I want to do it, but every fiber of me refuses to do it. And it's bizarre. It's always been, I always thought it was just my fault. Oh, I'm just lazy. I'm just this. And I finally got medicated. And it turns out it's not that I'm lazy. It's just that I have a mental problem. That I have a bunch of mental problems. But I am getting better at controlling them. I am getting better at acknowledging when they're making me 
when they're stopping me, I guess. Uh, I'm making a better. Effort. I'm making a. I'm becoming better at making an. Uh, an I am becoming better at noticing whenever they are not. Um, what I actually want, but what my body thinks that I need, <laughs> and it's been an interesting journey. I've been recovering pretty well from my surgery as well. Mentally, I feel pretty great. Uh, I'm feeling a lot more me, which is bizarre. And right now, I, I guess, <laughs> I think I'm just mumbling for the most part, but I did myself a tarot reading. Uh, I like using tarot cards as a way for introspection, not necessarily to read the future or anything like that. But I do believe that they can give me some insight into my life by doing some readings. Just so as a way to think about your life as it is right now. Maybe change a couple things. Maybe point out a couple of things that you just plain up noticing. And when I did my reading today, it told me to take a chance and do the things that I can, I think will be good for me. And I think this will be good for me. So I'm doing it. Um, and maybe hopefully the more I do it, the more of a habit it will become. Maybe maybe I can uh, I can maybe uh, um, learn new things and maybe impart them to you. Lately, I've been getting pretty into a pretty uh, uh. So lately, I started getting into Linux, right? Um. The reasons I got into Linux, I felt like trying something new. I've been it's been itching in the back of my head to try it, and I finally did. And uh, it was the most frustrating month. I did it for a whole month. It was the most frustrating month I've had in a long time. But it was also one of the most rewarding ones because I was solving problem after problem, asking for help, engaging with other people. Because you know, you can't do everything yourself. And me getting into Linux, some for some reason, triggered the part of me that makes me want to be more curious. Um... So I started to just read more. I've been reading a lot more books. How to like? I've been reading uh, how to how to read better, so I can actually take the information better out of the books. And I've been reading uh, how to take smart notes, which practically cre creates this kind of like settle casting system, which is like a slip box system for taking notes. If you're interested, I can talk about that later on. But um, it has made me be interested in my education again, not for the sake of um. Uh, what you call it? Not for the sake of of a uh, of a uh, um. Getting a career or getting a job or or something, just for the sake of learning. It's been a while for me since I've actually just been doing something for the sake of just fun, not because of a, a an ultimate goal at the end. I have had the most fun learning this month than I've or this past month than I've had. When I went to school, and that kind of makes me regret it. Like I wish I could have figured this out sooner, but you know, there's no uh, there's no learning if, if you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm trying to just enforce this habit of just like constantly reading and constantly just enriching myself because it's fun. I have found, however, it is a little bit difficult to do it in this room, as you can see. From behind me i have a lot of distractions way too many distractions and i have my three monitors and a lot of flashing colors and whatever i don't know if i necessarily believe that my environment really affects what i can do but maybe it does i never i, I never really used to believe it a whole lot but i feel like reading when i'm at my job and by the way my job is a library so I make coffee and I sell books. It's it's a it's a pretty good job. I wanted to read more, um, and I've been trying to do that uh, more and more in my job to the point that it has become a habit. And when I try to bring those habits to my home, I I there's nothing that I I, I can't trigger it the same way, which kind of makes me a little angry, just a little bit, you know, because I want to I want to do this. I just don't know. Maybe I need to change my environment. I mean, I do have a spare room. Maybe I should make that room into like a, a library room or something. Um, 
maybe like remove all distractions just make it like a place for reading maybe it would be nice i don't know i don't know exactly what it is that like it's preventing me from doing it in my own home i, I it could be my adhd just don't, don't wanting to do it for the sake of just not doing it but i like to believe that i'm hopefully getting better at ignoring it and uh, ignoring it <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see I'm, I'm gonna make some efforts towards talking to you more here on on youtube um because honestly this this past 15 minutes i've enjoyed quite a bit um i don't know exactly you see i thought i would like telling you about my life stories and telling you about my experiences and everything i've, I've been through <laughs> I don't know if I am a person worthy of getting advice from, but at least in my streams, I've been able to help people, not because I am actively trying to help them, but by just me doing the things I do, I have been able to help them. And that feels nice. Like, I like that. I like being able to know that I have made a positive impact in the world, even though it's minuscule. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Maybe just making something a little bit more that matters. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I keep saying that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's going to get pretty repetitive. But I want to do something different and I want it to be fulfilling. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I want to do. So I'm doing this. Um, are all my videos going to be type of this kind of talk? I don't know. Maybe. Depends if you enjoy it. Depends if anybody watches it. But what I know is I want to do something different on the internet rather than just being entirely lewd. I will continue to do lewd because that is the only way that I know how to grow currently. Um... At least my, my, my big plan that I have here would be continue to be a little bit more explicit, not too much, don't get too excited, on Twitch and make this more of a more tame, calm, more, more, uh, more of a two friends talking type of a scenario. And hopefully, maybe I find something else. Maybe I, maybe I, I, I find a new outlet that doesn't require me to do things that I don't necessarily enjoy a whole lot, right? I want to nurture something. I want something to grow. I want to be able to know that I can create something. Maybe that's coming from the fact that I've lost so many friends and I was pretty good at making them. Doesn't seem like I was good at keeping them. And I guess maybe we'll have to start small and maybe like build a community and grow and nurture it and maintain it. Maybe it's something that I'm craving. Maybe this channel could be a fun experiment for that. Just nurturing something small and maybe it grows, maybe it doesn't. Does it matter at the end? No, it just matters that I tried. And maybe I found something nice. Maybe I got to meet some pretty awesome people through it. I was able to make it this far by me just simply taking a decision on streaming. And what I mean by making it this far is me becoming the person that I am now, me transitioning, me getting my surgeries, me getting the encouragement to stand up against the people that were against me. Um, it empowered me. I would have never expected that out of just going live and wearing cute skirts. It evolved to more than just wearing cute skirts. It became something more. And maybe the same can happen here. It already happened once, right? So hopefully you'll see more of me. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to talk about. Anything you'd like to, I don't know, bring up. It's, it's something that I would like to explore. And uh, I would love if you would like to join me with this. Like, just 
encouraging each other to maybe do better, grow, or maybe just have a good time. I hope it makes sense of the things I've been talking about. I don't necessarily know how to end this kind of videos. Uh, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So I'm going to have to learn as I go, especially because right now I don't even have an editing software. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to post this con this like raw as it is. Um, if there's any topic you'd like me to talk about, if there's anything you'd like me to bring up, please let me know. I would love, I would love to have some pointers. As I mentioned, when you have an infinite canvas, it is paralyzing to know what you want to create. But maybe by giving me some pointers, it can help me. Maybe I can figure out what I want to do. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see more of it uh, or, or something different. Um, dislike it if you don't like it, you know, that also helps me too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate the fuck out of you. Uh, and hopefully you'll see more of me soon. Bye bye.